<laughs> so we are live. Um, welcome to the Gamer Gents Duo Podcast number trace. I don't have the Google document pod freaking Get thing that. open. I am so professional. So yeah, welcome. You you stumbled into this. So we have a lot of things to talk about. Yes, lots. A lot. A lot like of things. This much. Like like this much. This so much, much it's out of the camera. It's out of frame. <laughs> yeah. So okay. What have you been playing, mate, other than what Destiny? Um uh, uh Garden Warfare. Plans for Zombies. I played that last night, because uh, EA put it up. How late do you stay up? How late did you stay up playing that? Because I got a message at like two or three in the morning that's like Garden Warfare is awesome. Yeah, like, dude, it was it is freaking good. I know, like, but I had been typing I, that it was awesome like all day. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, so I played that. I played that for like an hour, hmm. and then I nah, I got off. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> I imagine yeah, you staying up fun. until like seven in the morning, and then just sleeping <laughs> until like nah. no. Well, so, I does did, that happen every now and then? Though I didn't. If you really want to know, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't stay up like seven or anything, but it was like four or something because I didn't get good sleep. <laughs> yeah, dude. My but, the I have had trouble sleeping. Like, it wasn't last night, but like two nights ago, and then the night before that, it was so weird because that like never happens. And I I laid down, you know, in that because lost, yeah. and yeah. I just Boop. sat there and I was like, what the frick? I can't sleep. Normally, I go to sleep yeah. in like two to five minutes, and it's just gone. But yeah. I sat there for like 30 minutes and then I was like, Wait, you can do that? Yeah. Yeah, al That's, almost what? every night it's like it takes like 2 minutes and then I'm just asleep. Are you kidding me? It's beautiful. That's amazing. I know, but n so many other people have like problems sleeping, but I usually never do. But the normal the other time night I was sleep, like, like I don't know. I mean, if you're tired when you go to sleep, that's a different story. Yeah. But usually, I mean, when I go to sleep, I'm like still like aware and not uh, functioning hmm. but then like it takes me like an hour of not moving a single muscle <laughs> yeah uh. dang dude you so you have to just sort of like force yourself so Walk what if you yeah what if you have an itch and you're laying there do you just like not yeah i'll deal, I'll deal with that but i okay. like try to like do it nonchalantly yeah my just brain sorta... is still like okay <laughs> real slow Discretive. I listen to, like yeah. soft music and all that too. Dude, night, so. I apparently have found out that sleeping with my computer on actually helps because it's a little, it's like a humming, it's like yeah. a fan. It's not. That's, that's yeah. why I have a fan. Before I had complete silence and that was the best option, but then I was like, you know what? I'll just try and leave my computer on because I've been doing that when <laughs> with rendering videos lately, and it worked. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah that's we've been patterns. playing the game of sleep <laughs> lately. Yeah, but the game was <laughs> the game of sleep. So yeah, I was playing Garden Warfare. Mm. And well, yeah, Destiny, yeah, of course. Destiny. Anything before well, World of Warcraft. Uh yeah, well, I'm trying to think of anything I've been playing on PC in the past week. Uh, well, I I I bought Chivalry Middle of Warfare. That's a fun game yeah. and also I downloaded that mod called uh, Double Action Boogaloo. <laughs> what What <laughs> is that a mod for? I thought that was just a full game. Oh, it's a source? source okay. Yeah, it's awesome, though. So I It looks interesting. It definitely looks interesting. <laughs> so I, I, th <laughs> I forgot to uh, start the timer, so give me a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I completely like and totally... 15 or whatever. There we go. Um... So in the past week, I've been playing free. Oh my gosh, dude! In the Google document, you are an anonymous cormorant. What the oh, no. frick is a cormorant? I'm looking it up. How do you spell it? It looks like a bird. It's like C O R M O R A N T. Cormorant. Cormorant. It's type of bird. Okay. And it, it looks has like a dinosaur a... bird. It's actually a pretty legit looking bird. I wish you could like put that over the on the You know what? I will. I will. If I had something to write no, down, I'd I'll write send, it. But I'll put it in the freaking 
thing on Google the chat. No, on um, not the Google Hangout on the document. Oh, okay. <laughs> under guest, I just threw it under there. Okay, let me let me pull this up. Let's look at. Oh dang, that is a legit bird. Check that out. Uh, Check that. Bird. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's so majestic. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> but any, anyways, I've been yeah. playing uh, blah, blah, things in the past week. Freaking Destiny, of course. Every night, gotta play Destiny every day. Um, other stuff. Uh, you know, in the past week before, like this weekend, I don't think I played anything other than Destiny. At all? Yeah. No, I played Call of Duty a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you played Call of Duty for me. I played that a bit, but not. Yeah. Yeah. So Destiny mostly in Call of Duty a bit, but um, this and then on the weekend I downloaded Secret Ponchos and. Is Secret um, Ponchos good? Plans for Zombies: Garden Warfare. I haven't tried it because when I opened it, it was late at night, and I was like, let me just uh, let me just try this real quick. And yeah. it's really, ex it looks really extensive. So I was like, eh, I don't want to learn this. I'll just wait. Oh, okay. So I, I don't know. Maybe we can do that after this. But yeah. uh, it looks interesting. It's like a dueling game. Dueling. Yeah, it's like a dueling sort of what over was that the top one dueling, dueling game. Thing. What was that one dueling game Chivalry. that was popular on Steam? <laughs> what? Chivalry. <laughs> oh, it was like a, it was like an eight bit. And you have like swords, and you're like ching ching ching, and you're like jumping uh, everywhere. Nidhogg? Yes. That came to PS4 as well, apparently. Really? Yeah, and it, and people loved it. I want I want to get that because. Um, yeah, yeah, that looks awesome. So let's just jump in to well, what have we been watching? We've freaking Walking Dead's over. Uh, yeah. Flash and Arrow is gonna be over until like January, February after this week. So we've still been watching those. Uh, me and Eric have both given up on Sword Art Online. <laughs> yep. Given up. Like, dude, I, I was telling Ryan about what it was, and I was like, the first half was so great. It turned into this, like, unexpected love story that was actually really awesome, and they did it amazingly. Like, and then the second half was good. crap. <laughs> and then the second season is just, was, like, it started like it could be good. It was, it was they good. could do and it. The, the, and then and it then, just sort of, like, <laughs> no... No, I don't think we're gonna do good. I don't. I don't I, think we want to do that. I think we'll just keep diving down to the bottom. That around. So I, I watched. I even watched the the um. Actually, I, I watched the recap episode. Yep, that's. I watched the I, one after that one, and then I stopped. I skipped through it. I actually yeah. skipped through it. I watched the one <laughs> after yeah, that, so, yeah. and they freaking go back into freaking Alfheim or Alfheim, and yeah. they freaking. Uh, for no reason. They're just like, let's just do this quest. What? That's what? not. It wasn't even. A GG. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe I should have stuck with it. Freaking... But I still started to dislike the parts in in Gun Girl Online, anyways. So I was like, I'm what done. To Death Gun or Gun. I don't know. <laughs> it, like just from that episode, it seemed like they were just like, oh, he's out there somewhere. We'll deal with it later. Let's just go do this. Oh, that was maybe, maybe the the uh, maybe the game masters banned him. You know, yeah, sure. Finally, sure. <laughs> but um, after that, we've still been watching Cora. Cora is just every week. Cora's still my loves, favorite show on television. Uh, it goes Cora, Flash, Arrow, <laughs> yeah, Walking Dead's after that, uh, Doctor Who's after that, and yeah. But um, I sh I'm sure Eric's watching the 100 and Supernatural. Oh yeah. And... Uh, that's pretty much my lineup right there. Korra, Flash, Arrow, The 100, and then Supernatural. My guilty pleasure is Girl Meets World. Girl Meets World. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's the... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. you know what? You can judge me. All right? Go ahead and do it. I don't care. I still like it. <laughs> It's the one Disney, like, dude, I freaking, I used to watch Disney Channel back in the day with, like, Wizards of Waverly Place and all that, and it was decent, and the characters yeah. were funny, but the freaking, after, I think, after Wizards of Waverly Place, yeah, after that one, I'm just gonna say, after that one, every single Disney show is just freaking dog poop. Like, yeah. it's the worst. Like, I, I turned it on once when we went out of town or something. We were in a hotel. And I was like, there's nothing else on. Let's see what they're, what crap they're showing here. And there, there's a show called Dog with a Blog. 
and it's about what? a talking dog. It's just this family <laughs> with a talking dog. What? And it's Wait, like, what? <laughs> it's called Dog with a Blog. Dog with a Blog. Mm -hmm. Why does it have to rhyme? <laughs> I don't know. Why does what? it? Why does he need a blog? <laughs> it was bad. It was Ellis, real bad. But Girl wins, Meets World actually, wins, I think, I might be wrong on this, but I think they have writers from the old show, which is why it's actually decent and like it People don't like it's literally it a female version of boy meets world like freaking maya is sean and riley is Corey, and you have all the old characters and it's awesome yeah. so people, but uh people didn't like that they they call it that for really? some reason hmm. they just like change all the names change all the actors that's kind of what it was change the name of the <laughs> that's title what it is and we're and, and continuation continue yeah. till season eight or whatever yeah so, uh, that's it what it is and most people are like that sounds awesome <laughs> boy meets world fans are like that's cool that's pretty much how i feel about it um is there anything else that i'm missing for shows uh no i think that's it video game high school is over sadly yeah um yeah that's about it so let me let me pull this up. I have a picture. Nope, that's not it. If I don't have the picture, then I have it on. Uh... If I don't have the picture, then I have it in my head. But I'd rather just read from the picture. Oh, there it is. Picture is Black Friday. Um, okay. This is from Damon Hatfield. Uh, I don't know his job title at IGN, but he's he produces Game Scoop and lots of other types of things and articles and all sorts of stuff. Uh, it said analysts reported that only six percent of consoles. So this is this is the console war that happened on Black Friday, basically, what? and who won in all this? Like a legit war, or yeah, sure, sure, no. Oh no, you're talking about like yeah. sales. Okay. Yeah, sales. Who won on Black Friday? <laughs> analysts okay. report that only. Okay, let's start with the high one. Xbox One technically won Black Friday. They had 53% oh, yeah. um, were Xbox Ones, and that's probably because of the uh, cheaper bundle. And cheaper bundle and yeah. monster and freaking um, Master Chief Collection. So that, that's pretty much. <laughs> last Last of Us Remastered plus GTA V in one bundle. Yeah. <laughs> but 31% uh, uh, were PS4s, and then 6% of consoles were Wii U's. That that daggum Wii U is just struggling. I, I mean, I think the Wii U is doing better than it used to do. Like, comparing its sales to, like, last year's sales, I'm pretty sure it's doing better. But it's just, I don't know. You would think it would be doing a lot better with freaking Smash Out and Mario Kart and Toad Treasure Hunter or whatever. And you would think it would be doing better. Yep. Yeah. I honestly would really love a Wii U. Gosh dang it. I would love a Wii U so much. But I just thought people might be interested in that. That's it for that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what else do we got here? It's all up to you, mate. Dead air. All up to me. <laughs> um, Dead air. <laughs> talk about freaking, I guess... Should we talk about Destiny since our, it's our biggest, pretty much our, the biggest update that's coming? Well, the biggest thing is PS experience, I think. Yeah. Do you want to just talk about PlayStation experience as a whole? Sure. Okay, freaking PlayStation experience happened. Uh, well, I think technically it's still happening. Still going. Or still going. it may have just ended because it's Sunday night. Yeah. But um, it's supposed to go through Saturday and Sunday of December 6th and 7th. So on December 6th, they held a keynote which just announced so many awesome things. So many awesome things. So I'm just going to lay out a bunch of things that were announced. And at the end, Eric, be prepared. I want to know your top three things that you're most excited for Okay. that came out of PlayStation Experience. So freaking Uncharted 4 was the first thing that popped up on the stage, and I saw somebody tweet that was like, if Uncharted 4 is the first thing they're showing, you know all they're, they're confident in all the rest of it, you know? So they could have saved that until the last. But freaking, it, it pops up on screen, it shows like this beautiful mountains and waterfalls, and it's sort of zooming out, zooming out, and you sort of see, literally, I it took me this long to recognize. I see the little 
the little you know yeah, flippy here. thing of Drake. I see yeah, no. the black, and I was just like, yes. <laughs> and then when it panned around fully to show him, I'm like, oh my gosh, he, dude, he looks so good. Yeah, like the are. like the mm -hmm. Nathan Drake model mm -hmm. is insane. It's I can't I can't deal with it. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna actually die. But so they they started off and it was Uncharted 4. They start off with that cinematic, and then it just turns into a full 15 minute gameplay demo, which I was not expecting because I thought it would yeah. be completely. They said that Uncharted 4 was gonna be at PlayStation Experience, but they said it would be behind closed doors. Oh. So I thought we would just hear info about it. But right. Nope. It's all right there. Like, Whoa! <laughs> so I wrote down some notes while I was watching it. They they were talking about. Uh, I saw that it looked a little bit rushed. The the to get the demo there by PlayStation Experience because the frame rate was a little bit choppy, and uh, the textures well, dude, were still insane, but they weren't fully detailed no, yet. That the frame rate is choppy, but I mean. It, First of all, I mean, of course, it's in. What, I mean, th a, uh, this is fine. Thing. This is fine. I'm just pointing it out. Like, yeah, I know, but here's the thing: things. you're watching on a stream as well, so. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't the stream though, because I mean, I mean everything else wasn't choppy. But yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I, I'm just pointing it out for like the timetable of when the game. The game is supposed to come out next fall, so I still think they can do it. But oh, yeah. all I have to say, Naughty Dog, if you're if you're listening, please. Um, do not rush it. Like, even though it's supposed to be out on fall of 2015, be okay if it it's not like ready, don't release it. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty sure all developers can agree to this, or all gamers can agree to this after this past fall. If it's not ready, let us know and release it later. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard. We'll, we'll understand. We'd rather play a complete game and later than really? an incomplete game now. Yeah, and if you do release it, fix it. <laughs> well, yeah, like, that that's what really, complete means. <laughs> yeah, I complete. Yeah. But uh, freaking. You release it broken. Which yeah, just complete. In the first place, so. so the freaking new UI looked awesome. It looked really smooth and not. You know, at first I wasn't sure I liked it because it looks more. I don't know. Smooth you know, that, and like that, seamless and all instead of the cartoony press triangle, which I liked, but I'll get used to it. And yeah. what? What I thought about it is like, I didn't even notice the the UI. Yeah. That's the thing, which I kind of like because that immerses you. I mean, so you don't have like. Yeah, it's, it's not different. like we were playing, uh, Crisis. Crisis. You have, your your whole screen is just UI, and it's just ridiculous. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, that that definitely wasn't the. Uh... Probably not the full UI. That that probably yeah, wasn't the it, full thing. It could be bare But bones, they just showed the they just showed like when QuickTime prompts basically were different than right. they were in True. other in other Uncharted. Less subtle. Yeah. They, well, they were they were definitely more. more yeah, more subtle. Yeah. But um, they freaking showed new climbing mechanics, two new it's things awesome. featured, and in one section. So maybe there are other things, or they in, like implement it so that it's harder to climb certain areas and like climbing are actually like puzzles and stuff which would be new like, it looks like you okay with it aiming the pike yeah thing. so there's areas where you can go out like you know you're climbing on the normal rocks which also the areas to climb are made way more subtle than they used to be yeah. like well not way more you can still tell right. but it, it just like looks a, a little bit better yeah used <laughs> yeah they're used to like in uncharted 3 and 2 like if you could climb a pipe it was like yellow or, or red and yeah i was <laughs> uh, fine with the last, it the last of us you have the white or the yellow um caution tape yeah yeah. yeah yeah it's like oh there's a yellow caution tape go <laughs> climb some stuff <laughs> oh i see i see that this is water okay which means i have to jump in and go yeah and then get yeah. a float for ellie but uh yep. yeah <laughs> but the so the thing is is when you're climbing on the wall you can reach out and like Say there's not another one of the little white areas where you can climb near, but there's one, mm -hmm. like, a little bit higher. You, like, it looked like he pulled his analog stick out, and Drake sort of started to do this and, like, move yeah, it around. Really. And then I'm sure he pressed a button, and pressed he went like button. that, and he stuck what was called – it's like a little spike thing. But uh, 
I saw on PlayStation's Twitter they called it a pinion without an O, which is an interesting name, but yeah, <laughs> just a pinion. So he stuck the pinion thing in there, and then he could climb and reach the other one. So I think that has a lot of potential with making it sort of like puzzles. But either way, even if they're not like puzzles, it just makes it a little bit more difficult, and it changes it a little bit. And that's so awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then uh, the other climbing mechanic, which you see later in the thing, is a rope. Yeah, you freaking, yeah, it's like a grapple more, thing. It's a grapple, yeah. Well, yeah, he's, when I, yeah, it's a grapple, but he it uses it as like a thing. rope. He doesn't yeah. use it, I mean, I'm sure later yeah. he'll use it as a grapple, but in this moment, what he did was he saw a thing that had the little rope icon on it, and it was mm -hmm. like R1, so I don't know how I remember that, but I do. So he threw yeah, it like... over there, and then he jumped off and swung like freaking right, and Indiana Jones and like did an aerial takedown while swinging so... on the rope. So it was awesome. Um, then freaking... Freaking, the, yeah, that's the, all the for the climbing. Bushes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the freaking, when you go in um, bushes, you go stealth mode, basically, yeah, like AC3. you would in AC3 or, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much AC3. And 4, and 4, definitely 4. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was so good. It, like, it's not dedicated, oh, and I loved how, I know they had to do this because they had to show the action as well, but I loved how, like, they tried doing, it was like every Uncharted player, you try doing stealth at first, and then you're like, oh, nope, somebody saw me, let's go, guns blazing. So <laughs> they, they did that, he was like, okay, let's let's scout this out, there's two guys down there, there's a lot of them here. And, and you turn and oh, there's a guy. <laughs> yeah, the guy on the ledge is like, there he is on the on the cliff <laughs> and then it's like oh gg aerial takedown smashes him against a rock steals his gun runs away guns down everyone freaking nathan drake yeah okay so let's, cool. let's see so that is pretty much everything um except for the biggest news for well not the biggest a pretty big piece of news for uncharted 4 is that when at the end of the demo you climb up on the cliff and you get away from all the dudes basically and he takes a break and he's like okay and then like you hear a gun draw back and he turns and pulls his gun on the guy and it's like you know it's a friendly person and he's yeah. like all right little brother let's go find this treasure and it's freaking and then we find out later that's freaking troy baker Troy Baker. I could tell from his freaking but voice. I was like, "What?" <laughs> all I all I know is that I really 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 don't want uh them to like push any of the older characters out of the limelight because Troy Baker. I really don't want that at all. That would suck. No. Yeah. It's not okay. <laughs> to have freaking Also, it doesn't make much sense because Drake is an orphan. So, I mean, how would he know he had a brother? He re I mean, maybe he did at the orphanage, and he like left his brother behind, and because he he, esca he basically like friend. escaped the orphanage, and he was basically in the streets for like years. But yeah. maybe his brother was at the orphanage, and he just left him there. I don't know. Maybe I mean, it can work. But I really, really, really hope that they don't like overshadow Sully or Chloe or Lane right. or any of them. But mate. You should uh, you should go on with some more things about PlayStation Experience. That's the biggest thing for me is freaking Uncharted for him. So it's yeah, like... uh, well, Uncharted was one of those things, of course. Um, I I haven't got a chance to fully play the uh, first three games, but I really I really want to. Yeah. Like seriously, if like in the next uh, if they released years, an Uncharted collection for PS4, yes, you'd play I would it. Yeah. buy that. Yeah, <laughs> which so I think they should. I think they should be having another third-party <laughs> port studio be working on that. I really think yeah. they should, because there are lots of else. studios that work on ports like that. But uh, uh yeah. Um, another thing, I didn't get to watch much of Places and Experience, but I looked over some of the things that were talked about. Um, I'm well. I li I liked the um order. It looks freaking awesome. I love the camera angle and just how how it looks. So the order looks they well it looks really cool. Yeah, I mean they showed for the order they showed a probably not 15 minutes, but probably like a 10 minute 
Yeah. Well, yeah, it, it might have been 15 minutes. minutes. But uh, it was 10 minutes? Did you see it on YouTube? Yeah, it was around 10, yeah. yeah. So they they showed a 10-minute, like, gameplay demo of the Order, and they showed it almost, not last, but almost last. It was around the end, they showed the Order, and it was def- it definitely looked better than it did when they showed it at E3. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So they made a lot of improvements on it. The game, people are, like, skeptical if that game's gonna, like, come out with, I I don't know, if they're gonna release it on time, basically. But right. it... I don't know. Definitely looks like a lot of progress, and it it looks really good. But I don't know if I'm personally am gonna get it because okay, it's like a the mix. reason. The reason I'm so like excited for this game is because we've been we've been familiar with the Uncharted series, you know, Halo series. Got a uh, freaking you know. By the way, series. new God of War. Stuff. Yes, that. God of War it's and a new one. Gears of War. All every, all all the games. But like, I- I'm excited to see a good-looking AAA n- and a new IP. Yeah, so, I guess on next gen. So that's that's why I'm excited. I to mean see that the that if you told me that a new AAA IP, I'd be like, awesome, sounds cool. And then you say it's the Order 1886. I'm like, eh, all right, I guess I might buy it. <laughs> I mean, that's a great idea for it's the new IP and all that. But I just don't. Were- werewolves. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. None of Glory that is dark. Yep. Awesome. None of that's for me, usually. But the and thing it's is, co-op. there's co-op. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. But the thing is, is, I like, I like games or game modes or games that are creepy but not scary. And I think it crosses the line between creepy and scary. But I mean, I'll. I haven't seen anything scary about it. <laughs> freaking E3 trailer, man. It was to me. <laughs> I know it's not to you because you watch horror movies and play freaking PT. What, and... no, what, what... Yeah, the E3 trailer was. The freaking werewolf was like scrounging around in the darkness and it's just almost complete dark and you have a flashlight or whatever oh. and you just see it scurry across and like rattle all these pans and then the E3 trailer ends. I'm oh, like, okay. you don't know about this. I, that's a jump scare. That's not really yep. scary. They're just, it is to me. I don't like jump scares. They're, they're frightening. They're not mm-hmm. scary. Yep, I don't scary. like frightening. I like mm. creepy. I don't like anything scary or frightening or anything. Prefer, like I what? Creepy any, I, could, yeah. I prefer creepy anyway. So Yeah. But I don't know. I'll probably get it eventually. I just might not get it when it comes out. Yeah. I might get it like a week after it comes out if I see it. If I if I get to look at I it more. I think it's good. Uh, but yeah. Freaking. Yeah. They showed, yeah. they showed some stuff for the order. Um, f- one of the one of the things that's awesome that they showed is freaking Shovel Knight for PS4 and PS Vita. Shovel Knight has insane reviews. It's like a small little indie game in the style of like an NES game. It was on the Wii U, and it lots of people liked it. And I really, really have wanted to try it, but it's coming to it's coming to PS4 and Vita with um Kratos in it as a wow. as an exclusive character, which that's I awesome. think will be cute. Yes, cute. <laughs> yes, but it. I don't know. I really want to. Tr- I don't know much about Shovel Knight. I just know that a lot of people loved it. My boy Colin Moriarty <laughs> says it's. He says it's his uh, game of the year for him. So I just hear nothing good about Sho- uh, nothing bad about Shovel Knight. I hear lots of good <laughs> about it. But uh, so I'll get to try that hopefully. I mean, I need to look up how much how much it costs on the Wii U. So that I can be ready to drop the money on the PS4 and the Vita. But there's also... Oh, Eric, you sh- do you know the whole deal with the EA and what they all did? I mean, I know you know a little bit about well, it, but do you know how it happened or that, whatever? The, uh, well, no. you... Oh, gosh dang it. <laughs> well, you should talk about something from PlayStation Experience while I look something up. <laughs> That's um, <all>. What <laughs> else was that PlayStation Experience? Um, well, I, I knew, uh, they were, people were playing, um, Destiny. Ooh, yes, let's switch to Destiny Talk! Oh, sorry. (laughs) Oh, wait, wait. We'll switch to Destiny Talk after we finish PlayStation Experience. And I have this. Um, how should you, yeah, okay. The game is called Super Time Force Ultra. It's for the PS4 and Vita, and it has... 
Shuhei Yoshida in it as a playable character, and his what? Twitter is his freaking attack. He shoots tweets at people, and it's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I, I'm great. pretty sure they might refer to him as at USP, which is great, but... I, I'm so gonna buy that. It's like a little 2D scroller action game. Right. Is, oh, it sounds so great. <laughs> that looked awesome. That was that was a shocker. Okay, since you weren't really watching PlayStation Experience, so you got a lot of the uh, highlights, but I, I'm just gonna run through a quick highlight of the rest of it, and then we can move on to freaking Destiny. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. Okay, EA's program. They... EA came out on stage and they're like, "Oh, PlayStation." The guy was so fancy, by the way. He's like, "Congratulations, bro. That was that was very nice." He didn't say "bro," but he was like, "Congratulations. This is very." I would like to congratulate PlayStation and all of its fans on their twentieth anniversary. anniversary. Yeah, yeah. So I knew that. So. so EA basically, the guy came out on stage. I don't know his name. I don't know his title. But he came out on stage and he was like, uh, "In celebration for PlayStation." Yeah being 20th anniversary and because we know we have a bad rep and we're trying to fix it he didn't say that but it's pretty much implied um we're gonna give these three games away for the weekend if you don't download them on the weekend then you don't get them for free but for (laughs) playstation experience there is mirror's edge for ps3 which is awesome but i haven't done that and i need to do that really quickly um plants for zombies garden warfare on ps4 and uh, for Vita, needs f- Need for Speed Most Wanted, <coughs> which is awesome. I'm hoping to be able to fix my freaking Vita battery soon, so I can actually play all this stuff. Because we're going on a, I'm going on a trip soon, which we'll talk about that around the end. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'd love to be able to use my Vita. I still haven't finished Velocity 2x, and I feel like that'd be a great time to finish it oh, on yeah. the Vita. But um, yeah. So that was EA. Uh, freaking yeah what was the other big one um the big one that i remember that i really wanted to focus about is uh david jaffe came out on stage um guy who makes twisted metal uh or cr- who created twisted metal and who kept making it for years um i don't know what else he made but he came up he he said that him and his studio has been working on a game called drawn to death where it's basically the concept of a uh, middle school boy's notebook with all his doodles in it come to life in a third person arena shooter. Wow. Think about that. So wait, you can draw so, your own stuff? No. No, the concept is it's in a notebook of a middle okay. school. Yeah. So the art style is all like outliney and like right. drawn. It's oh my gosh. That sounds awesome. That yeah, sounds so cool. See, the flamethrower I... is a dragon. That you pour gasoline oh into, yeah. That's awesome. But uh, I I know it's not the same thing, but there was this one game. I I was it was just a stupid flash game. Yeah. But like you could draw like a weapon or something. It's kind of like Scribble Knots, where you could just type in Scribble something. Scribble awesome. <laughs> and um, <laughs> we're keeping this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, we're just we're keeping it. We're keeping it. Okay, go ahead. And, um, what was it? Uh, yeah, where you could just, like, type in whatever you want or draw whatever you want, and it would yeah. be in the game. Uh, but, I mean, of course, there's probably going to be a wide variety in that game of items to use. Yeah, it's it's a third-person arena shooter in that concept. Oh, yeah, I did see I did see a trailer of that. I saw yeah. that. It'll be I, a I while. Stream, it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it'll be a while for that, but, um, it's... It's coming. It's in pre-alpha, but it'll. It kind of hurt my eyes, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'll they'll change that so that at first I was like, I don't know the the art the art style is awesome, but they need to make it so that the it's not so black and white. You right. know, they need to add something. Fill in, fill in, in some areas with like a dark different colors. You know. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I'm sure they'll do that eventually, but that is a ways away. But it looked mm. awesome. But um, those are the biggest things. Oh, here's something small but kind of cool. Planet Side Two uh, has Planet Side Two was originally supposed to be a launch game for the PS4. <laughs> yeah. Launch game. A year later, we're getting um, a way to sign up for the beta on PS4. <laughs> a year later, but that's cool. That's that's progress. I just wanted to point that out. Game yeah. and free game. So. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because. 
I wanted to try Planet Side 2 when it came to PS4, and I was down to try it, but then it wasn't there, so, <laughs> so I couldn't. But uh, I'll try it when it comes out, just for fun, just for like a day or two. But um, freaking... Okay, this is... Let me... Before we move... This will be the last thing for PlayStation Experience, and then we'll move on to Destiny. Um, yeah, okay. So the guy came out, and one of the coolest things about PlayStation Experience to me is like... That is one of the only places that you will see everyone using a Vita and not a 3DS. So <laughs> yeah. that, that's just awesome. I'm sure they were all playing Freedom Wars and stuff, and I'm jealous. But they, like, the guy came up on screen, and he was like, who here loves their Vita? And it was so great that everyone was just like, whoa, yeah. And they all raised their hands. <laughs> and yeah. so he got up on stage and announced seven new Vita games, and a lot of them wow. are really freaking sweet. Um. I can't remember too many. Oh, actually, there was a there was a uh, PlayStation blog post on it. So let me find that real quick. But he announced seven different ones. One of the ones that I've heard I've heard about Sweeken in Two from a um, from a podcast that I listened to. I've heard that that is amazing and it should be coming to Vita, and now it is. So that's hmm. that's that's good. That's on its way. Let's see here. I think I found the article. Okay, yeah. Here are the games for the Vita. Um, PS4 and Vita, the Super Time Force Ultra 2D action scroller thing with Shuhei Yoshida in it. That's one. Towerfall Ascension with all its expansions and all. Nice. Or Vita, which that would be freaking awesome. The Banner Saga, which a lot of people like, but it's a turn-based thing, so I'll be staying the poop away. Octodad, Dadliest Catch, Game of the what? Year. Um, Broken Age for PS4. Uh, that's not for Vita. I don't know why this is on the Vita post. <laughs> um, <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil <laughs> Revelations 2 for PS4 and Vita. I ain't getting that. Um, Darkest, <laughs> Darkest Dungeon, PS4 and Vita. That's not funny, but it made me think of a game called Darkest, or like something Gungeon. It's like mm. a shooter dungeon crawler, which sounds wow. interesting. That was also announced. There's lots of stuff. And then Sweeken in One and Sweeken in Two, which are apparently really cool. But they they are RPGs, they're Western RPGs, which is good. So I'll have to I'll have to try those. But um yeah, yeah that's that's everything. There is so much crap from PlayStation experience. Oh, top three top three things before this will be the last, I promise, and then we'll move on. Top three things that you're excited about that came out of PlayStation Experience. Um, the Order, Uncharted Four, and uh, um, there. Okay, I, it's hard. The third one was gonna be like all those little little games. Yeah, like uh, just indies, Gang Beasts, and those other um, like Shovel Knight and all that kind of stuff. Okay. There's a lot of tiny, the tinier games. Okay. The other, right. and of course, uh, they played people played Destiny. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my biggest. My my biggest. My top Segway. three. three yeah. My top three is Uncharted Four, uh, Shovel Knight on PS4 and Vita, and The Dark Below. Three things that I'm most excited about in Destiny. Dark Below talk. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> most drawn go. out segue <laughs> in the history of segues. <laughs> I was like, a oh, quick. I gotta get my top three in before the segue dies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, losing but, battery um, power. <laughs> it's losing battery power. Plug it in. Um, <laughs> freaking dark below. So where oh. do we even start? Well, May? guns or the the wa the weapons. The weapons. Yes, the weapons. The weapons. The weapons. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm gonna open Bungie.net so we can read some. Of um, the, stuff. The, the the joke on I, a new joke. On IGN gotcha. in the comment section, <laughs> um, they spelled weapons wrong, and they spelled it W A P O N S. <laughs> the weapons. And so everyone's like weapons. Okay. So yeah, Destiny weapons. Uh, lots of there was a video of them using the exotics and the new legendaries. Uh, there's one actually called, um, oh gosh, but it was a fusion rifle, and um. It's called that it was called the Murmur, and it was like hive, um, type. It was a hive theme type, 
of gun and like what it would do it would give you like sliding bonuses and it shot and there was another bonus I can't remember but it was like probably the best gun they they've shown so far hmm. freaking okay I have a bunch of bungee.net articles up right now that yeah. uh, outline a lot of changes for freaking Dark Below. Holy crap, there's a lot. Okay, there's a lot that happened. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm dying. There's a lot that happened <laughs> just in the past week. Like, almost all of this came out in the last week. Like, all, all these updates, um, previews yeah. that we've been really focusing on and such. Um, let's go over... Okay. The first thing that happened, this happened at the beginning of the week. I'm pretty sure Monday, actually. Freaking the exotic buff upgrade yeah. and the materials upgrade. See, update. About the, update. I didn't, I didn't um, understand this until just like uh, earlier today. Like everyone was like, "Oh, this whole exotic upgrade thing is so dumb," and blah blah blah. Oh no, like, this is this is the exotic um, update patch that I'm talking about. Oh, the, the one where they buff yeah. things? Okay. That, yeah, we'll that, that seems like forever ago, but it was just this past Monday. Yeah, true. But, um, yeah, they, they buffed bad. almost every exotic. Uh, they nerfed Suros, but, like, barely. Um, Noticeable. Yeah, they oh. actually, I'm pretty... Yeah. No, there there was, like, three that were left unbuffed. So I think... Mm. I'm not sure what they are. I'm looking at this list, and I'm like, I recognize that. Oh, Gallahorn wasn't buffed, um, which is... You know, uh, icebreaker wasn't touched either. So um, no, icebreaker was touched. Oh. Yeah, I see it. I don't know what they yeah. did though. Um, send it, send it upgrade replaced by lightweight, which was oh, redundant it was as icebreaker redundant. already had max. I don't, I don't even count that. So I mean, <laughs> well, it was a change, and then new effects for enemies killed by icebreaker upgrade. That I wouldn't count because that's just anim <laughs> animation. Mm -hmm. Um. The biggest thing, honestly, the the biggest thing to this update is not the exotic things. I'm sure it is the biggest for everyone else, but is the freaking materials. You don't have to farm your butt off to yes. upgrade all these guns anymore. You can so you can go to the Vanguard, the Vanguard uh, quartermaster or the Crucible quartermaster. You pay ten marks of either currency and get twenty of whatever material you want. So glorious. Yeah, and on you and on the daily story, you get uh, if you run it on level twenty eight, you get sixteen um, materials of that planet. If you if there's like the patrol mission bounty, if you turn that in, you get ten from that planet. So it's they're just <laughs> oh gosh, they're just eliminating all of the annoying annoying ways. Yeah, pretty much to, to get stuff now all you need to do is like run the tri tiger strikes for a bit and then you'll have at least 40 60 <laughs> materials <now. laughs> yeah um, the the only problem is the fact that um <coughs> the still 100 week chris or chris one vanguard mark limit so i wouldn't yeah. spend all of the marks like i saved a decent amount for the dark below but yeah but if you wanted to you can go and just buy um, right, the, the I actually had max crucible, uh, marks crucible, and then dang. yeah, um, I played a lot of it, and um, like uh, what, the the max is the cap of having, is like two hundred two hundred right? Really? So, you can only have two hundred at a time. I'm not sure I've ever reached it. Time. Okay, yeah, you can only have two hundred time, but you can only have a hundred a week. Yeah. I, I know think that's kind of silly because if I earn marks, I should get marks, you know? I think okay you should be able to – yeah, I'm okay with the weekly one. I think you should be able to go past 200. Yeah. Definitely. So let's see. This is the biggest thing. The Dark Below preview on Bungie.net. They uh, – should I just, like, read all of this because this is all important? Okay, let's just read it and discuss it as okay. we go. Um, let's start at the top. New legendary gear. Existing yeah. legendary gear on display in the tower will be replaced. And... Yeah, everything. Yes. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the new gear will get you to 30. Yes. The new gear will get you to freaking 30 so you can get into Chronos Anyone can get it. If you, even if you don't have the DLC. <laughs> 
Oh, it makes me so happy. Um, new uh, legend. Oh yeah, new legendary, new legendary gear will feature higher attack and defense values. Legendary items will still require ascendant materials for upgrades, which is good. It makes you realize the uh, yeah. ascendant materials aren't worthless now. Uh, this new, more powerful gear will be available to all players of Destiny, like you just said. Um, mm -hmm. Legendary gear will not be as powerful as new raid gear or exotics. So even though they're making it so that you can get to 30 without raiding, you got to raid to get 32, which I'm okay with because of the raid changes they made. Hello, which we'll talk about in a minute, but <laughs> <laughs> new rank commendations. In addition, this a lot of people don't like, the commendation things, Yeah, I, I kind of agree, but we'll have to see how it works. Because, like, with all these changes that people are not liking, Bungie's, always, Bungie's, like, saying, don't worry, you'll level up faster, you'll do all this stuff faster, so... Yeah. I don't know. Um, in addition to Crucible or Vanguard marks, purchasing new legendary items will require... A crucible or a vanguard commendation. Commendations are received in reputation reward packages delivered by the postmaster upon reaching a new reputation level. So, if you want to purchase a new legendary item, you have to level up level again. Up. Which is interesting, to say the least. Because imagine if you're like at Vanguard rank 10 and then you have to get to 11. Because every time you level up, it makes it so that you need more XP for the next level. Yeah. So, I don't I don't know. Good thing I'm not too far into Vanguard. Because I feel like to get the Vanguard gear, I'm going to have to level up my Vanguard three times on my Titan. Mm -hmm. Or, no, my Titan's 30. I'll have to level it up three times on my Warlock and three times on my Hunter, you know? Yeah. Which is fine. I, I don't know. I sort of... I want to play it. I want to play this right now. I want to start mm -hmm. working. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Tuesday, dude. Two more days. Yep. Two more days. I'm so <laughs> excited. I said it. I did all my schoolwork. So on Tuesday, I'm literally just going to play the Dark Below. Wow. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and then I technically graduate on Wednesday. So after Wednesday, yeah. my parents are going to take me to like a graduation dinner or whatever. But they're calling it a graduation slash birthday dinner. So okay. hopefully I get something. <laughs> uh, Wednesday or it's Monday, but it's next Monday. It's the fifteenth, so it's so the week but after. You it's know. crazy right. because like I'm going on this trip on Thursday, and it includes basically my awesome week starts Tuesday and then ends like next Wednesday. My like awesomeness, freaking for <laughs> Earth, the whole week. year, <laughs> just right there. But yeah. um, it goes for like a week. And it's all these, all this awesome stuff. But the one day where we're just traveling is the day my birthday is. <laughs> like oh, wow. on Thursday, Ryan's gonna get here. We're gonna freaking go to Oscar's Tacos and Olin Rogers, and we're gonna freaking stream co-op Black Ops Zombies. And then Friday morning, we're leaving. We're gonna see you and Gabby and Jared on Friday and Saturday. And Stuff. Saturday, we're going to – Saturday night, we'll probably be back at the hotel. And we'll probably – if we can get the freaking TVs to work and stuff, me and Ryan are both bringing our PS4s to the hotel so that yeah. we can, uh, like, we're hook it into two TVs in our hotel in Indianapolis. <laughs> we do this every year. He said the internet worked last year, but I didn't think the internet worked. Yeah. It didn't work the first year. I know that. But he said it worked last year, so I'm trusting him. So we'll be able to hook it there. We'll bring our mics and we'll be able to freaking play uh, The Dark Below that night slash afternoon. Yeah. I don't know. But um, then Sunday we have the Colts game, and then we're headed back to Nolansville on Sunday. And then Monday, me and Ryan are going back to Montgomery, and then we're just going to see, like, that day is mostly traveling, you know? Yeah. But I'm bringing, <laughs> I'm going to bring this TV, right? Right, oh yeah right there that one i'm gonna bring right. that tv to montgomery with my ps4 i'm gonna set it up in freaking ryan's room so that because tuesday night at like midnight is the hobbit with me him and andrew so tuesday the day i'm pretty sure we're just gonna freaking play the dark flow we're just gonna like Dude. grind out the dark flow <laughs> in in his room like with Sounds the two awesome. tvs it's gonna be awesome and then wednesday i go back and that's when it all ends it's insane how much stuff there is. Yeah, Dark Blow, dude. Yeah, I'm... So oh, my gosh. Should I, tell you about this, should I tell you about the strike that sure. we get now? 
Well, I mean, I heard about it, and I honestly don't have any high hopes for it because it looks. I mean, it didn't look. I mean, what do you know about it? Strike. It looks like a harder, stupider version of the Nexus Strike. That's what I've always thought. <laughs> well, it's that, but it's it's worse. Okay, how? Okay, they take the models from the raid, the uh, you know the fancy looking minotaurs and hobgoblins that you go in when you first get into the Vault of Glass. They're like white. No, not at all. I can't remember the names they of them. They look the um, same. Demon, precursor. Demon. Precursor hobgoblins. Precursor. They're like white and they have like... That demon. sounds familiar, but I do not remember them at all. Like, do you mean like in the raid? Like yes, before you're opening the, the door? When you open the door to um, freaking... Here, I'll post it in the, the Google Doc. <laughs> um... When you go into the Atheon's chamber, and you kill all those uh, Atheon's chamber, okay. Yes, and you kill all the hobgoblins Don't know how and all the remember. all the stuff there. Yeah. How am I not? They're oh, like is white. that in his? Is it? Are these in the gates? Is this what? Yeah, when you go in the gates or when you get teleported, is that where these are? Well, yeah, there too. They're there as well. Okay. But they're hmm. interesting. Well, okay, the only ones that are there um, are at, when you first go in. After you nice. kill them all, then there's no more of them. And then there's just regular Vex that come in. But yeah, they took those models and just threw them into this strike. And, um... Okay, Destiny engineer. reusing models, nothing new. Reusing yeah, planets, true. nothing new here. And okay, of go course, on. Um, here's the thing. They reused a mission... They took the Black Garden. You start out inside the the the, the, the garden where yeah. the heart you killed the heart. Mm -hmm. you, you that's where you beam from your ship, and you, you start go... walking out, and you oh. go back the way you came from. That's kind of cool. End. It's kind of cool. It's freaking Destiny. It's repetitive. I understand. <laughs> that's kind of cool to me. Freaking dude, there are strikes on that happen now that start you where exactly you were in a normal mission. Like, let me think. Well, yeah, uh, but that's, the that's moon? going from the beginning of the, the drop zone to the thing. But this starts uh -huh. you. Yeah, that, yeah, this is new. This is a different thing. You start in at the end of a mission, go back to where you came from, and it's refilled with enemies. Nice. That's kind of cool as a concept. It's definitely better than just starting on the moon for the Fogoth strike and going down that area, the same area that you've gone on for two missions and then a strike. So you go through it three different times and three different things. Yeah, it's definitely better than that. But pretty much it's black, the reverse of Black Garden. So. I'm okay with this. Destiny's repetitive. and Like, I, I've heard Greg say this a lot when people were, like, criticizing uh, Destiny. He's like... Destiny was is supposed to be a MMO. It's it's supposed to be this repetitive grindy thing where you get your level up and you level up your gear and all this and usually games like that are repetitive and I understood that going in and I am okay with that because yeah. that's how it works. But uh yeah, I mean it's what you got to do and I still love the game so <laughs> I will gladly run that strike many times to get more and more marks. And level up my gear. Um, so, oh, let's continue through the freaking, freaking Bungie the Dark Blow preview. We are actually running a little bit low on time, which is new because we don't normally have this much crap to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's keep going. Exotic talent changes. As part of the December 1st Destiny update, exotic armor and weapons no longer require ascendant materials for upgrades. So, yeah, exotics basically just, you know, don't require ascendant materials. They require regular materials like spin metal yeah. and helium and all that. But, uh, yeah, which, I don't know. They, they continue to explain this through here. The final power node of all exotic gear will require an exotic shard. This new material is obtained by one of the following means. Dismantling unwanted exotics... Purchased from Xur for seven strange coins. So to finish upgrading an exotic, you have to have an exotic shard, which you can get from Xur, or you can get from a duplicate exotic that you don't want. Mm -hmm. So, 
I don't know. I'm okay My with this. Opinion on this. Is that it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Because I mean, plus you don't have to get that last node instantly. Because I mean, you're already going to have a ridiculous amount of. Yeah, uh, the extra ten damage is. You're not going to need it for that daily mission that you're doing. You can right. wait until Zer because you do the raid on Tuesday. Or you can wait. Yeah, you can wait till you collect uh, thousands of strange coins. Or you know. Yeah. Uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, I don't dislike this. Um, I people are. On... It's just new. I don't think yeah. many people dislike the exotic shard thing as a concept. They dislike the this the right resetting. here. Yeah, Ex new exotic upgrading. Exotic gear in the dark blood will have higher attack and defense values than current exotic gear for players and their current cachet of exotics. A patch will exist to bring them forward into the dark below. Um, starting December 9th, Zer will offer players the opportunity to upgrade exotics to higher attack and defense values. Upgrading an exotic in this way will require an exotic shard. The upgrade will reset the progression invested into the item. Each week, Zer will possess a selection of upgrades for existing exotics in his inventory. So every week... Zer has a selection of the upgrade of the exotics that you have to upgrade to get to the cap of damage and so, defense wait, and such. Not every week you will have the upgrade that you want. That's what it seems like, but I think I read somewhere that was like he will, so I'm not sure about that. But um we'll just have to see. So it raises the defense for and the light for your exotic armor, it raises the attack for your exotic Weapons okay. to the standard of the light level of 32, which is okay. But um, a lot of people were freaking out about this. I kind of was a little bit because, I mean, I have a maxed out Suro, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to re-upgrade that again. Like, I don't know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of time. I have, like, yeah. I have like 9, 10 exotics. I'm going to have to re-upgrade a bunch of and them. Plus all the zeros that you put into it. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's all the good. energies, it's you know. But um, Which I'm actually running really low on. Um, let's see here. Let's find, I'm going to find this weekly update right here. Because, um, Deej addressed this. He, he said, he put a bullet, like, bullet points of, uh, why it's better and, like, why they're going with this. Um, let me find this. Scoring them upgrades. Let's talk a little bit about... What's motivating the new economy designed to propel the evolution of your guardian and the arsenal at your disposal? Here are the facts. Destiny will continue to provide new ways to evolve, blah, blah, blah. Your existing items will still be effective in any encounter, which is true, but come on, Deej, we're, you think we're not going to upgrade our exotics to get to the new cap? <laughs> okay. Um, the Dark Blood will contain exclusive options to level up, blah, blah. More powerful exotics will drop or be sold by Zura. This is true. More powerful legendaries will drop or be sold by vendors. Um, oh, you know this is interesting. Like I just realized, say I have a say I have a Suros that has a max of three hundred, but mm -hmm. then Zer comes next week and sells a Suros with a max of three twenty three. Yeah, I'd rather just do that than spend an exotic shard to yeah. reset yeah. it. I'd rather keep my exotic shard and, and just you're get that. You know. Glimmer. Yeah, yeah, freaking. Oh, yeah, I also didn't mention that freaking 7k glimmer for re. You know why it's 7k? Well. <clears throat> um, why? Seven is Bungie's favorite number. All right, okay. I thought that was gonna be like some sort of uh, I don't know, innuendo or but okay, all right, you know, that's cool. No, it's <laughs> literally, that's cool. <laughs> all right, it's their favorite number, it's kind of weird. Yeah, um, the fire level raid gear will drop. And more often, more predictable options will upgrade. Um, raid gear will drop more often in the new. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's <laughs> let's just blow past that. Like a lot of people don't like the exotic thing, but f what he said, like they're making it so that it doesn't take as long to upgrade it. You don't need those materials. You can get the materials that you need, the spin model and stuff now with the new materials patch so it's not as hard so it's not going to be right. near as hard as it would um okay crucible pvp changes expansion one will include two new exclusive competitive playlists new crucible arenas pantheon sky shock and the cauldron will be featured in map rotation
playlists available in the director will change week over week. Experiences will alternate between two. See, this, the Crucible changes is very interesting. Yeah. The, they're not going into much detail on that. We can cover that later, but we're kind of running out of time. Yeah. Okay, and let's stupid, skip yeah. to the important stuff. <laughs> Crota's End. Yes. Crota's End. So, the new raid, Crota's End, will unlock on December 9th. Players at light level 30 can lead a fire team immediately upon release. So, Eric, th let's I've discuss heard. this. Let's discuss this. I've heard, I've heard that you need at least one level 30 to do the raid. Yeah, that's what this says. Players at light level 30 can lead a fire team immediately upon release. So, I could lead us, but I think, I mean, I'm just Tuesday. Not, not all of. Most of us aren't 30. I think Tuesday we should just start working and try and get you guys up to 30, and then next Tuesday we can do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have the new story. They have the new strike. They have all that. We can research right. so that next uh, Wednesday or next Thursday or whatever, when we try it, we'll be ready. Well, I still want to go into at least, like, fresh and try it out, you know. I know it won't happen, but I still want to be, like, surprised myself. Okay. Well, I, I don't know. I... I That's know. what me and Andrew want to do, at least. Hmm. Interesting. I we just I, just, go... <laughs> I mean, I like doing yeah. that the first time, but it it is. It might not it be the most us, effective way. It took us like a month to, to figure out the whole thing before we finished it. Like, yeah. That's so much wasted time. You are so blurry right now for like no reason. No. This is really I weird. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna turn my camera off and on. Oh, there's there you your derpy go. face. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Uh, there okay, we go. that's better. Um, let's continue. I mean, you guys can go in blind, but I, I'll yeah. probably research because I don't. Well, of course, I'm gonna time. research. Like when we start like going about it seriously, which is gonna be probably. I'm gonna guess. I'll just give a date. I'm gonna and guess the I most recent time. For like a week or two. Yeah. Yeah, the most recent time that I think we can all be 30 and all be in it is the 18th, which is next Thursday. So, like, you know, I'll go on the trip this Thursday and come back yeah. Wednesday, and then the next Thursday. You got, you and uh, you and Ryan didn't have enough time to get to 30, but that's okay. You and Andrew probably will be 30 by then because you'll get the yeah. new legendary gear and all that. But um, if you're really going going hard in the paint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to go hard in that paint. Throw I'm the paint up hoping, there. I'm still hoping I can... Uh, maybe maybe the road raid will be good to me this week. This is this is true. I just realized that. Are we going to... Oh. Yeah, totally. Uh, what? Two days, mate. Okay. We're going to do the raid. I mean, it's I Tuesday. Yeah, we sure. can still do the raid. I don't know if J Money's even going to want to. <laughs> but, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll be done with that. I just didn't realize... Um, let's see. Okay, this is freaking most important. We're going to end on this. I have some topics that I wanted to dis discuss, but we can save it for next time. Which, since I was going to discuss on air, like, what we were going to do about next week. But we'll just discuss it afterwards since we're basically past our time. This, yeah. right here, we'll discuss the raid thing, and we'll be good to go. The reward system in Crota's End... We'll address some issues reported in the Vault of Glass. Raid loot in Crota's End will drop at a higher rate. New raid gear will contain a wide variety of potential perks. Weapons and gear from Crota's End will not require ascendant materials for upgrades. Radiant shards and radiant energy acquired in the raid will be used to upgrade new raid gear. Unwanted weapons and gear from Crota's End will dismantle into radiant materials. Primary weapons will only drop in the harder version of Crota's End release sometime in January. That's a lot of really good news. Yes. Really good stuff. Because I still hope that they increase the percentage. Like, they should they should throw in the, um at least for raid armor. Like, just for raid that's, armor, I would be okay. Yeah. For, um, you know, say I have the gloves and I have the boots. Now I should have a higher chance 
percentage yeah. chance of getting the, the chess piece. I don't know. I bet that's what they're not. They didn't describe it in full detail, but I bet that's what they do by say because they said I don't know. The whole raid gear will drop at higher rates. That yeah. sounds I don't know promising. I mean, that at least. seems the most the best way to do it. Yeah. So freaking, I'm so excited, dude. Comes out on that's Tuesday. Awesome. Comes out on Tuesday. I'm gonna spend all Tuesday like doing the Eris missions and all that, and the stories and stuff and stuff. And I still have to level up my other characters. Like my Warlock's 26, but I didn't want to level all that gear because I didn't want to freaking spend materials and stuff when I'm just gonna buy new legendary gear. Oh, nice, nice, bro. Twin <laughs> twinsies. But uh, <laughs> and then my Hunter's still 11, so I still have to level my Hunter up. But um, yeah. yeah. I still, I got lots of stuff to do. I, got lots of yeah, I think it's been a while like... before we start like getting back into our second characters because of the, all the new stuff. Well, yeah, at least for Crota's, I mean, for the Dark Below. See, since I'm thirty, the only thing I really have to do are those stories, those strikes, and Please. the, yeah. uh, the bounties and all, and the, uh, the raid. So, like, I don't have to work to get the new gear unless I'm using my Warlock. So, yeah. I can, I'll probably be able to get to my Warlock decently fast, but if it's like the Iron Banner with, like, the emblems and the shaders and all that that you get for leveling up in Eris, the faction or whatever, mm. I'll probably be doing that for a while, to be honest. Right. Like, that's a, yeah, that's a new thing. I got to get those, that shader and all. So, guys, this was a really long podcast. We hope you enjoyed Tomorrow, uh, or next Sunday, I'm going to be out of town. So we don't know what we'll do, but we'll figure it out. It'll probably be really interesting. Whatever whatever yeah. happens, it'll be like Eric with someone or like me and mm. Eric and Ryan at his house or something. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll just sit here and bring the camera out. <laughs> yeah. But um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So thanks for watching. Eric. More food. Um, pecan, uh, divinity. I didn't have to yep. say it. You, I just go, Eric, and you're like, here it is. <laughs> it's like, it's, it looks like white poop, but, um, yes, it does. That's a great metal much, image. It would, it's like egg whites beaten really fast with sugar. Yeah, it's good. So, and pecans. Pecans. Don't forget pecans.